everyone. So Valentine's Day is right around the corner and I don't know what you guys are doing but I don't really have any plans so um, this look won't really apply to me because I'm probably not going to be out. Most likely I'm going to be doing homework in my pajamas on Valentine's Day so nothing too exciting for me but I know a lot of you probably have plans to go out to dinner with your friends or a special someone so I thought it would be a good idea to do a Valentine's Day inspired look but this isn't just for Valentine's Day, it's also great for a date. It consists of like a dusty, purpley, smoky eye. I don't know if the purple is really going to show up on camera, but if you look at the eyeshadows that I'm using in person, if you go to the store and look at them, you'll see that they're definitely like a light, smoky, dusty purple color, and I love those colors right now. And then I just did a soft rosy cheek and some pink lips and then I'm also going to be showing you how to do this hairstyle so this whole look is just very soft and feminine fun and girly and I'm talking really fast so I'm running out of breath and I also just ran up the stairs so that's why I'm out of breath but I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the tutorial so I hope you guys enjoy it so I'm just gonna start off by priming my eyes with my NARS eye primer and I'm going to put this all over the lid and up to my brow bone and then I'm going to take a little tiny bit and pat it along my lower lash line. And then I'm going to use my MAC Paint Pot in Vintage Selection. And this is limited edition, but you can use something like MAC's Bare Study Paint Pot or Benefits RSVP. So I'm going to put this all over my lid and up to the brow bone just to add some shimmer to the look. Then I'm going to take my Eco Tools Fluffy Crease Brush. And I'm going to be using this shimmery grayish purple color from a CoverGirl quad called Pure Romance. So I'm just going to put this color all over my lid and work it into the crease a little bit. Okay, so using that same color, I'm going to take my Sigma SS219 brush and I'm going to put a little bit on the lower lash line. And then using the same brush, I'm going to go back to the Pure Romance Quad, and I'm going to be using this brown color right here. And I'm just going to place this in the crease to add a little bit more definition to the look. And then I'm going to bring a little bit of that color down below on my lower lash line as well. So going back to my Eco Tools crease brush, I'm going to be using this really light lavender color here. And I'm going to use this to blend out the crease color a little bit. For a highlight, I'm going to be using a shader brush like this and MAC's eyeshadow in Floof. So I'm just going to get a little tiny bit and put it up here on my brow bone. And then I'm just going to place a little bit here on the inner corner. Now I'm going to be using two different eyeliners today. The first one is Rimmel Soft Coal Eyeliner in Sable, which is a brown color. And I'm going to use this to line my waterline. And then I'm going to take my Feline Coal Power from MAC and I'm going to use this to tight line. Now I'm going to take my Bobbi Brown Modern Classic Eye and Lip Palette and I'm going to be using this matte dark brown color here. This color is called Espresso and you can also use something like NARS Coconut Grove. You just want something that's a really dark brown, almost black but not quite. And I'm just going to be using a dense brush like this to apply it, but you can also use an angled eyeliner brush. That would work really well too. So I'm going to take this and pat it into my upper lash line. So you can see that this gives my eye a little bit more definition, but it's not as harsh as a liquid liner would be. And I also love the slight smoky effect that you get out of it. Okay, now I'm going to wing the line out a little bit on the outer corner, just like I have here on this side. So using that same brush, I'm just going to bring the line out and just kind of flick it out a little bit. Now I'm going to come in here and curl my eyelashes. For mascara, I'm going to be using Fairy Drop Scandal Queen and the packaging is super, super cute. If you haven't heard of this mascara before, it's probably because it's a Japanese brand and Scandal Queen is the version that they just released in Sephora stores here in the United States and they have their original formula, but this is the formula for Sephora stores and this was sent to me, but I really like this mascara. I will show you guys the wand. 
It has a lot of fibers in it, so it helps your lashes look long and lush. And it also has these three spherical sections as well as a curve. So it helps to curl your lashes as you're putting on the mascara. And it also helps to get the little tiny lashes on the outer corner. And another thing I like about this mascara is that it's water resistant. So it doesn't smudge, but it's not hard to get off because with the Majolica Majorca mascaras, I love those mascaras but they are so, so hard to get off. So that is the good thing about this mascara. So to apply this mascara, I just take the curved section here and I put it up against my lashes right by the roots and I just kind of wiggle it up. Now for the bottom lashes, I just flip the brush around to the other side. And I really, really like this mascara for bottom lashes. I don't know why, but you guys can see on this side, I've never had a mascara make my bottom lashes look so thick and just really voluminous. And I love that. I've never had a mascara do that before. For blush, I'm going to be using Benefit's Bella Bomba and my Sephora Professional Platinum Airbrush number 55. So I'm just going to smile to find the apples of my cheeks and dust it on. Then I'm going to take my Mineralized Skin Finish from MAC in Soft and Gentle and my Sigma SS224 brush and I'm just going to use this as a cheek highlight. So I'm just going to sweep it across my cheekbones and then up into my temples. And for lips, I'm going to keep it simple with a nice pink lipstick. So I'm going to be using a Max Cream Cup, which is kind of melted, but that's okay. It's still usable. So I'm just going to pat this onto my lips. And for lip gloss, I'm going to be using my Can Make Lip Gloss in color number one. And this is just a creamy, milky pink color. Feel free to use whatever pink lip gloss you have on hand. I personally just like this one because it gives a nice opaque color. And I did buy this in Thailand, so I don't think you can get this here in the States. But I'm going to try and find a link to it online. And if I find somewhere where you can buy it online, I will put that link down below in the information box because I really do like these lip glosses. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of this because if you're going out on a date with a special someone you might have a kiss at the end of the date or somewhere throughout the date you never know these days so you don't want your lip products to be all over the other person's face so just put a little tiny bit of lip gloss just for a little sh a little shine Okay, so now moving on to the hair. Now I haven't done anything, I just blow dried my hair and then I pinned up the top section just so I can get to the bottom layers easily. And the first thing I'm going to be using is my Tresemme Thermal Creations Heat Tamer Spray, which looks like this. And I've been using this forever, it's my favorite heat protectant. And they have, re not reformulated the bottle, they've redesigned the bottle. So now there's a lock here, which I'm really happy about because now it makes it so much easier to travel with because I used to take this with me everywhere, no matter where I went, I always took this with me and it would always leak in my suitcase, which was really annoying. So I'm really glad that they put a lock here on the bottle now. So I'm just going to spray this, whoops, sprayed my face. I'm going to spray this on my hair, not so much on my face, but a little bit got on my face, but that's okay. So I'm just going to spray this throughout my hair and then work it through with my fingers and I'm going to let it dry for a little bit because you don't want to use a curling iron on your hair while the heat protectant is still wet. So I'm going to be using my Con Air one and a half inch curling iron and it is on the highest setting, which is number 30. I just got this at Target. It really didn't cost much at all. So I'm going to take a section of hair like this and I'm going to wrap it around the curling iron. And I'm just going to hold it for a few seconds. And then I'm just going to release it and let it fall. And then I'm just going to keep doing the same thing with the rest of my hair. Okay, so I have the bottom section of my hair curled and this is what it looks like. So I'm just going to take my Pantene Fine Hair Solutions Lasting Volume Hairspray and I'm going to give my hair a good spritzing just so the curls hold. Now moving on to the top layers of hair, I'm just going to take my heat protectant again and spray my hair 
And then I'm just going to grab sections and start curling. And I like to curl away from my head, but if you want to alternate, alternate the direction of your curls, that's completely fine. I just prefer to have them go away from my face. Now when you release your curl, make sure that you catch it in your hand just like that because the curl's going to retain its shape if you catch it and hold it for a second and then let it fall. Okay, so all of my hair is curled now, so I'm just going to spritz it with some more hairspray and then I'm just going to start playing with it with my fingers, just rub my fingers through it. And the reason why I like this hairspray is because it's very flexible, but it still gives good hold, so it's not going to leave your hair crunchy or anything. Okay, so if you want to leave your hair like this, that's perfectly fine. You can go ahead and stop here. But I'm going to show you guys how to do a little twist just to pull this front section of hair out of your face. Okay, so I'm just going to take a small piece of hair like this, and I'm going to twist it. And then I'm going to grab another piece and twist it. And grabbing pieces as you go and twisting is going to help anchor the twist down to your hair. So it's more like a headband. And then I'm going to separate a little section of hair here and tuck it behind my ear. Just so I know where the twist is going to end. And then I'm just going to take a bobby pin like this and secure it behind my ear. Alrighty, so this is the finished look and I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I hope you all have a very lovely Valentine's Day no matter what you end up doing. So until next time, I will see you all later. Bye!